This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 274. Want to crush your inner demons? Use the Skywalker Strategy, part two, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, reading you some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there, with permission from the authors. Today is actually a continuation from yesterday, so I'd recommend listening to yesterday's episode first if you haven't heard it already. That's episode 273. And don't forget, we actually have four other podcasts where we narrate blogs for you. Check out the others by searching for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this show. Now, I'm sure you're excited to hear about the Skywalker strategy and excited to hear me mispronounce some more names. So let's continue this post from Nerd Fitness as we optimize your life. Want to crush your inner demons? Use the Skywalker strategy, part two, by Steve Camp of nerdfitness.com. Why do we do things the hard way when it comes to life, but the easy way when it comes to video games? If you struggle with drinking too much, then continuing to put yourself in bars where everybody binge drinks is a recipe for disaster. If you struggle with portion control, going to an all-you-can-eat buffet is asking for trouble. If you struggle with fast food, driving past a row of fast food joints every single day is a hopeless endeavor. If you can't get yourself to just eat one piece of candy, then putting yourself within arm's length of more than one is a terrible idea. So stop facing the level 10 orc chief before you are ready. Go explore a different part of the world and level yourself to level 15 before you consider putting yourself back in a fight with him. Putting that in real terms, get all of the junk food out of your house until you're better equipped to handle it. Drive a different path to work so that you don't drive past Burger King and Taco Bell and McDonald's twice daily. Take a month off from going out to bars and get your life in order before inserting yourself back into that environment. While you're avoiding the orc chief, you can set out to fight increasingly difficult bad guys to level up your character and become better prepared for the inner battle. Maybe you are afraid of public speaking or you're afraid of talking to a stranger you're attracted to. You don't jump straight to speaking at TED conferences or asking out Scarlett Johansson. You take baby steps and slowly level up. For example, when it comes to speaking, start by giving a talk to your friends, then on a street corner, then volunteer to talk at a local school or Shriners Club. When it comes to asking out somebody you're attracted to, start by talking to people you're not romantically interested in or people you find easy to talk to. For me, this might look like dudes, married women, old folks, kids. Get comfortable with having conversations. Then offer up a drive-by compliment. Then build up to asking somebody out. Just like with all of the examples above, that inner battle you're facing never goes away completely. It just becomes easier due to the fact that you are now leveled up. Thanks, Einstein. Step three, study the pattern of the boss and memorize it. Ever played Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? I remember playing this as a kid and really struggling to defeat Bald Bull. Every time I got close to defeating him, he would run back and then charge me and knock me out with one punch. This went on for weeks until I learned you could send a properly timed punch right into his face and it would knock him out cold. After that, the fight became a breeze and this pattern continued for each fighter after that. Initially impossible, each battle would result in my technical knockout. However, after dozens and dozens of attempts, I would learn the opponent's triggers, mannerisms, and tells before certain types of punches. Again, it wasn't because these guys got any easier. It was because I got better at pattern recognition and had the perfect counterpunch for each situation. How can we apply this to our inner demon fight? Prepare as much as you can ahead of time and have a plan in place for every time that inner demon comes out to fight. If you're struggling with smoking or eating unhealthy foods, think about the triggers that cause your brain to crave these things. Do you smoke when you're nervous or anxious? Or do you smoke when you drink? Do you eat when you're bored or unhappy? Do you chug a six-pack of Mountain Dew in the afternoon to stay awake at work? Your demon has a face, and now you're properly leveled to fight him. You still need to study his patterns and prepare yourself to fight him each and every time. He won't get any less strong, but you'll be better equipped to go through his patterns and counterattack and crush him. Here's an example. I know that at work in the afternoon, I go eat snacks and get a 20-ounce soda because I'm tired and bored, not because I'm hungry. Therefore, when this feeling kicks in, I will follow the pattern of victory. One, I will walk around the office to wake up while drinking a black coffee. Two, I will eat an apple and stay away from Fran, who keeps a bucket of candy on her desk. And three, I will emerge victorious. What inner demon are you fighting? 
there's a common theme running through each of the sections and paragraphs I mentioned. Non-judgmental analysis and adaptation. When you come across a level 10 orc chief, you might lose a few times before retreating and realizing you need a different game plan. You then go find a new path around him, or you don't come back to fight him until you're properly equipped to battle. Heck, maybe you come back with two friends who can help you win. You may be able to find a community of rebels looking to group up to help you win your battle. None of the above is possible without that first initial defeat. Okay, I have an inner demon that is beating me. However, the second step is more crucial. I need to change my strategy or I'm going to keep losing. If you're struggling with an inner demon, it doesn't make you weak or a bad person. People die in video games all the time. It's part of the game. The satisfaction in the game is learning the patterns or leveling up high enough to deliver that finishing blow. You just listened to part two of the post titled, Want to Crush Your Inner Demons? Use the Skywalker Strategy by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Okay, here's something I can actually relate to. I was a huge Mike Tyson's Punch-Out fan. I did actually beat the game, and Steve is absolutely right. It's all about learning the demon's patterns. Something I've talked about on the show many times is knowing your patterns. One of the best way to discover your patterns is to actually write things down, is to observe yourself. If you just overate, for example, write down what happened right before then, what triggered that behavior. If you didn't work out today, but you wanted to, why was that? Why did that happen? Write it down. Writing it down will allow you to easily see your patterns. And then, in order to change behavior, just simply modify what came before the behavior. Why did you overeat? Hopefully, you'll see it was because you were bored, anxious, or because you were sitting and watching TV. You weren't really hungry. So what you do is you look at those triggers, bored, anxious, watching TV, and you remove one of those triggers. Something I hear all the time is, I always eat when I'm watching TV. It's just a habit. Okay then don't watch TV, but maybe play on your phone and see if the eating behavior continues. Chances are, it won't. And if you can distract yourself for five to 10 minutes, instead of watching TV, play on your phone for five to 10 minutes, that craving, that feeling like you need to eat something will pass. So I'm a big believer, as Steve mentioned, in changing your triggers, looking at those triggers. I've talked about this many times before, change the environment. Like Steve said, if you're driving to work, and you're passing by a bunch of fast food restaurants, you're going to be more likely to stop at one of those. If taking a new route simply isn't feasible because it will delay you, just distract yourself while you're driving past those. Think about something else. Change the station. Listen to a podcast. Listen to Audible. Triggers are super, super powerful when it comes to changing your behaviors. So as he said, knowing those demons or triggers can absolutely change your behavior. Now, before I go, one more time, I wanted to remind you, if you want to hear more blogs being read to you for free, check out our four other podcasts. You can find them by searching for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this show. All right, that'll do it for today. I'll be back tomorrow for a special Friday show. So definitely come back for that where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show, and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.